All right, let's have a look at this question. This is one of the uh, questions I discussed in my masterclass. And then, yeah, I, I under... Okay, let's have a look at these questions. This question actually is harder than I thought because at first I thought it's very easy. They ask us to find the square root of this term, 22 minus 4 square root 10. So basically, what the question asks us to do is we want to find something like square root of 22 minus 4 third 10. We want to solve something like this. So the first idea come into my mind is, is it possible we want to get something like square root of some bracket square? Then we can cancel it out and then eventually we can get the answer here. Okay, so now then we go to the second problem which is how to factorize this one, 22 minus 4 square root 10. This is not like the simple quadratic uh, things we, we do always. So we kind of need to do some try and error, even though I st still try, try my best to figure out any formula we can use here. But I think try and error is a lot faster than the formula. Yeah, so what we want to do here is we have the 22 minus 4 square root 10. I try to make the number smaller a little bit, as small as possible. So I factorize out the 2 here, so which is 11 minus 2 square root 10. Alright, then what I want to do is because of the square root 10, right? So I want to have the 10, the number 10 here. Later I'll explain why. So I know 11 basically is equals to 10 plus 1, isn't it? So I would say this is 10 uh, plus 1 minus 2 square root 10. But what I want to do here is I want to move the plus 1 to the back because I want to factorize. Remember, we want to do a square plus 2ab plus b square so that we can get a plus b square. Alright, so what I will do here is I will say minus 2 third 10 plus 1. Alright, why I say I want 10 just now? Because if I can change, if I want to make my 10 have the square there, basically I know I can add the square root and square at the same time, didn't it? Because square root 10 square is equal back to the 10. Then I have the square root 10, which is exactly the same with my something like 2ab here. Then here I have minus 2 square root 10 plus 1, 1 I can say is the 1 square. So until right now, I should be able to factorize it easily. So this one should be square root 10 minus 1 square. Because if I expand this one, b square, which is square root 10 square, which is 10. And then middle term is 2 multiply first term, multiply second term, isn't it? 2 multiply square root 10 is 2 square root 10. Multiply negative 1 is negative 2 square root 10. And negative 1 square, I get positive 1, which is makes sense. So this is how I factorize our uh, I factorize this 22 minus 4 to 10. So after I got this, so what I want to do is I will just um, put into here over 2 and then bracket square root 10 minus 1 square. All right, then I can just square root both them. All right, because this is something like term A and term B. So I have about square root 2. And then this square and square root, I cancel it out. So it's square root 10 minus 1. Alright, normally I will not stop here. I will just uh, multiply them or expand them. So this is square root 20 minus set 2. And we can simplify the square root 20, right? Because square root 20, the perfect square number is 4 times 5, isn't it? 4 is square root 4 times square root 5. So which is 2 set 5. So this is 2 set 5 minus set 2. So this is the final answer. So when we got the square root of 22 minus 4 square root 10, we should get 2 third 5 minus third 2. Alright, in order to make sure you fully understand this, I actually uh, prepare one more question here so that we can do together to make you understand. Okay, so same thing, they ask us to do the square root of 21 plus 12 third 3. Alright, so what we want to do is, our objective is I want to get some bracket square, isn't it? So over here, I will just do something like 21 plus 12 third 3, trying to simplify the things. Both numbers can divide by 3, alright? So I factorize out the 3. This is 7 plus 4 third 3. Okay, so I do not want 7, but not all the time is like uh, 6 plus 1. But over here, I want something related to 3. So I know it's 3 plus 4, isn't it? Get 7. So what I will do here is, I will say 3 plus 
4 sub 3 plus 4 here okay then what I will do is 3 I know I can do something like square root 3 square under it because it's getting back 3 this is 4 sub 3 because I want to have a sub 3 here and then here in order to get some square 4 is basically is 2 square under it because yeah it's just a nice number so whatever number you want to plus here you need to make sure it's a perfect square number just now we use 1 because why 1 square is still 1 so 1 is still the perfect square number so over here I will choose 4 okay so yeah let me move on so this one should be bracket square root 3 plus 2 square okay because if you try to expand it you will get exactly the same thing like this all right so after i got this then i will say oh it's equals to 3 bracket square root 3 plus 2 square all right then square root for both terms then square root for 3 is square root 3 square root for square i can cancel it out bracket square root 3 plus 2 so square root 3 times square root 3 equals to 3 plus 2 square root 3 times 2 is 2 sub 3 all right this is my final answer so i hope next time in the exam you see something like this you know how to do anyways i hope you learned something from my video see you guys in the next video bye bye